we puncture the femoral artery in the groin under local anesthesia and then under x-ray guidance we pass little tiny catheters through the bloodstream up into the carotid artery. Now the first step of the carotid stenting procedure is to place a filter in the carotid artery on the brain side of the carotid artery and that filter will still let blood continue to flow to the brain during the procedure but if any particles break free during your intervention they'll get trapped in the filter. So after you put the filter in the next step is to perform an angioplasty where we put a balloon in and stretch open the narrowed area of the carotid artery and if any particles break free they'll travel with the blood flow and get trapped in the filter stopping before they reach the brain so you won't have a stroke. This next step is to place a stent which is a tubular metal scaffolding that will stay in the artery and hold it open. The body will cover the stent with a thin tissue over the next month or two so that it won't be a bare metal stent anymore but it'll actually have some healed tissue. Following the stenting we go in angioplasty with a larger diameter balloon and really stretch the stent open and then the final step in the procedure is to go retrieve the filter and pull it outside the body along with any debris which was unintentionally trapped in the filter during the procedure. And then we'll just put some pressure on the femoral puncture site and observe the patient afterward.